So hypothesis and data sources under relations. So when students are studying relations, oftentimes the topic of a hypothesis comes about. So now what exactly is a hypothesis when you are discussing kind of collections of data? Well, a uh, hypothesis in general, okay, so what you have is, and let me uncover this here. So it basically is a statement that is true or false. And for that statement that you have, now it can't be a tautology, something that is just simply a fact. It is something that you would want to be able to research and find out if it is true or false. And therefore, so hypotheses that are made are not really questions. They are statements that you wanna either prove or disprove. So for example, if you are in a classroom, let's say you're taking a business class or something of that, and you know you ask the question, um, you know, I wonder how many students are investing, you know, in grade ten, for instance. So that wouldn't be a hypothesis. That is just a question for yourself that you're asking. Now, if you wanted to change it to an actual hypothesis, you could say, well, so I'm going to write a hypothesis, and here is that example, okay, so based on the investing question, and you can say the majority, the majority, which is, you know, more than 50%, the majority of students in grade 10 invest in the stock market. Now, you can be very specific what you mean by grade 10. You can say in my grade, okay? For example, if you're, you know, in grade 10, that is an actual hypothesis that you have where you basically can collect the data, you can go to grade 10, say in your school, and for that school, you can find out how many students actually invest in the stock market. Now, probably grade 10s do not, so this statement might be false, okay? But again, notice I say might, because I would have to actually prove it with real data and collecting of data. And now, so how do you collect this particular data? So there's two ways of collecting data in these data sources. So you can collect data, for example, as kind of primary, okay, where you basically are, so this is, so primary data source, okay, where you are the one, okay, so the researcher, the one who has actually come up with the hypothesis is the one who's actually collecting this data because primary means it is you as the researcher, okay? So I will say you as the researcher are collecting, so collecting the data. And now, so any hypothesis that is made by some researcher who is trying to find out an answer, if it's either true or false, if they are the ones who are collecting that data, that is called a primary source of data. Now, there is also something which is called a secondary source. So you can have a secondary sources of data, so secondary data sources. Now, what are secondary data sources? Well, secondary, it is not the researcher themselves who is doing that. They might be digging up information from somewhere else. Now, for this particular example, where you have you know, grade tens investing in the stock market or not, most likely you would have to go out and research that because you wouldn't be able to find it in secondary sources. But let's say, you know, you're in the US or you're in Canada or you're, you know, somewhere in Europe or somewhere like that in a country. And let's say, you know, you had a hypothesis to research 
for example, and you would say, uh, so let's say in 2020, where the COVID virus broke out, you know, you can say, for example, in Germany, okay, you can have a hypothesis, um, more than 10% of the population, okay, at some point in 2020, um, got infected by the virus. That would be very difficult for you as the primary researcher to go out and find this and be asking this. So you would be set seeking out secondary data sources where most likely the health institutions are tracking these numbers and you would have to look at that secondary data and then make your conclusions based on your hypothesis of let's say, you know, more than 10%. Now, not more than 10%, at least not at this point when I'm recording this video, have had, okay, conducted the, uh, contracted, sorry, the, the virus. Um, but, okay, that gives you an idea what a secondary data source is. Because when you yourself cannot go out and actually find the information yourself, okay, then you're no longer the primary data source collector you are now searching out for secondary data sources. So here we can put, okay, any source, okay, so other than the researchers themselves, the researcher, okay, themselves. Um, and these two, so primary and secondary data sources, are important to know when you are discussing actual collection of data because you want to know, all right, did I actually or did the researcher actually collect this or was it a secondary source, right? And then what you want to look at is that secondary source, you know, how much credibility do they actually have in collecting those data? So oftentimes, you know, if you read up in newspapers, they'll do these crazy headlines you know, making these crazy uh, kind of allegations or statements, and then they will only pick, you know, secondary sources that kind of fit, you know, whatever that they want to be able to translate into the public eye. So you always have to be kind of wary of like, okay, how credible are the secondary sources of the data that you have? Okay, so that is all that I wanted to talk about in this video. And with respect to relations, you will run into hypotheses that you will have to try to state. Again, remember that a hypothesis is basically a statement that can be proven either true or false. And it can be done so by using either primary data sources or secondary data sources. And that is up to you how you go about in collecting those data sources to prove them. So now one thing to note when you are looking at a hypothesis, remember hypothesis cannot be a question. So you cannot, for example, say anything as a question if it was a hypothesis, right? And as you're doing your actual collections of data, you know, keep in mind, are you collecting as a primary data source collector or are you using secondary data collection sources? So I hope that this helps you, at least gives you kind of a sense between a hypothesis and the data sources that you have. And in some of the future videos with respect to relations, okay, so we will take a look at these and jump into maybe some collecting or drawing the information and taking things out of them. All right. Thanks for watching. Okay. Cheers. Bye.